A and B are the inputs and Y is the output. When both are 0 then the output should be 1. If any input is 1 then output should be 0. So 0 1 it will be 0 1 0 0 1 1 0. This y equal to a plus b invert. We need two diodes. Head is one and another one. We'll provide input with push button switch. So this will be our A. It is B. Other side of the switch will provide high signal. That is plus 5 volt. To see the input, we'll connect an LED. So here it is current limiting resistor for the LED and the negative pin of the LED should be connected to the ground. It is 220 ohms. We will use normal diode that is 1N4007. We will connect both the negative pin and then with a resistor this resistor will be connected to the ground. Its value is 220 ohms. In this point we will connect an LED negative pin of the LED is connected and with the positive pin will connect plus 5 volt. So this is the output of the gate. If A is on then this LED will glow. For B this will glow and if the output is active then this LED will glow. This diode has a voltage drop of 0.7 volt and voltage drop of the LED is at least 2.5 volt. For the first condition when both are off then no current flow will be there through the diode. So it will be 0 volt 0 volt in this position. Here you can see that 5 volt is connected to the positive pin of the LED. So the only way to flow current from this way through the resistor to the ground. When any one of them is turned on, let's say this is turned on. Now if this one is turned on, then in this position here we have 5 volt. So this 5 volt will flow from here to here. So in this, this LED will glow and also this current will flow through this and in this point the voltage will be 5 minus 0.7 that is 4.3 so in this position we have a voltage of 4.3 throw all this way and to glow the LED we should have a potential difference of at least 2.5 volt but here the potential difference is 5 minus 4.3 it is 0.7 so 0.7 volt cannot glow this LED so this is why if anyone is on then this LED will be turned off. So this is how other three will be fulfilled. Now we'll see this on the breadboard. Input switch. One side of the switch is connected to the plus VCC. With the other side LED is connected and the resistor. Positive side, negative side, positive side, negative side. Positive pin of the LED is connected to the plus 5 volt. And after this, this 220 ohms resistor is connected and then it is connected to the ground. One switch is connected to this diode and other switch is connected to here. Now I am connecting the 5 volt power supply. Here it is negative and the positive. Both the input is 0, the output is 1. If any one input is 1, either this one or this one or both, the output will be 0. 
So guys, this is all for today. Thanks for watching.